going to be doing this yellow hair on my head right now. Um, this is completely different for me, but I really, really wanted to try yellow because I've seen so many people try yellow and they are slaying it and their melanin is popping. So I wanted to try it out and I'm going to show you guys the process of me dyeing it and then putting it on and all that good jazz. So if you want to see how I slay this yellow hair, just keep on watching. So I started off with a blonde wig from Van Louve. I'll leave it in the description box. This is a 12 inch wig in the color 613 and I used the Ion Brights color in lemon to start off. I tried the watercolor method. So basically I'm using hot water. I literally burned my finger right there. As you guys can see the pot is dangling because my finger is burnt to a crisp. And um... I just added pretty much the whole tube. I added literally the whole tube of yellow to the water and then I whisk it with a little whisk just so that the color was evenly distributed throughout the water. Um, I didn't, I don't know if I like this method or not. Um, it was just, or I think it's just the dye that I used. It wasn't the right yellow. I did not like it at all. I feel like it was still blonde. It just looked like a yellow blonde. This color is not as intense as I feel like it should be. So just an FYI, if you want that like basic like really, really yellow, try this Kiss. The kiss was way better for me, and I didn't do the water method with this. I just did it by hand. I know the camera angle is horrible, but I just added it kind of like an ombre because I didn't go all the way to the roots. Um, I wanted the other yellow to show, but it's not like a really crazy yellow. I feel like it looks like a blonde. As you guys can see, this is the result of what I got. As you guys can see, it's like a lighter blondish yellow down to a darker yellow. And now I'm just cutting the lace. As you guys know, I just do a little zigzag motion so that um, you can't tell where the lace starts and where it ends. This is like a good method to do just so no one can clock you because you don't want that. You don't want anyone to clock you or anything like that. And now I'm going to clean my forehead before I glue it down with a alcohol swab. And I just clean the foundation off around my edges and around the perimeter that I'm going to glue. So I'm just going to mix the I Got To Be with the Got To Be spray together. I use the yellow bottle because I don't have the black one and I know a lot of people use the black one. I don't know if it's better or not but literally I have two bottles of this yellow one so I'm going to use it up till it's all gone. I think it worked pretty fine. My wig holds literally, I keep saying literally, <laughs> very very long time. Um, if I tie it up I can wear it for like more than a day so like two days usually and then I just kind of slicked all the baby hairs because my hands were a little wet because I washed off the got to be and now I'm just gluing down the hair I didn't want the baby hairs to be glued under the wig so I kind of like pushed it back as you guys saw and now I'm just um figuring out it on my head and placing it down I did press it with a comb I kind of clip I edited that clip out but I did press it down with a comb so that my oils don't get like mess up the glue basically but it's it's okay and then I spray it around with the got to be spray just for more security and then I'm going to uh, tie her down just so that she can dry super flat and also adhere really good to my head so it lasts all day now I'm trying to figure out my parting I was gonna do a middle part but then I was like nay that does not look good so I was like the side part that was, I haven't been really rocking side parts. I feel like I've been rocking a middle part. So I'm like, let me bring the side part back. Because, I don't know, I really like a side part. It's super cute. So now I'm just going to straighten it. Because I didn't know if I wanted to straighten it. I didn't know if I was going to curl it. So I kind of bent it on the ends. This hair curls really, really easy. As you guys can see, I didn't even do much. And it was giving me a curl. It was giving me life. It was giving me, I don't know. When I did that, I was like, yes. Yeah. So I started to like flip the curling, not the curling iron, the flat iron more. So I got a little 
wave at the bottom because this hair is kind of thin especially after I dyed it I did get a lot of sheddage with this hair I don't know if I left it in the water too long or if the water was too hot but um yeah so this is what the hair ended up looking like I thought it was super cute I was so scared because I felt like it was looking crazy I looked like a Dragon Ball Z character Sorry if someone keeps texting me. Um, I hopefully you guys can't hear that. But yeah, so I'm just flattening out the flyaways and all that with my flat iron. And then this is what I ended up with. I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comment section. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give this a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I post a video because we never know. We're going to do crazier and crazier hair. So um, stay tuned. And let me know if you guys would ever rock um, yellow hair in the, not description. I always want to say description box in the comment section below because I would love to know. And if you have, like, tag me or um, send it to me in on instagram so i can check your guys's hair out and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in my next one see ya